have been up probably for about 20 minutes now. Uh, actually longer than that, like 30 minutes. Um, I've already taken Kitty out. It is a rainy day here in Nashville again, but I thought I would just do a vlog for you guys. It's Monday and I'm off on Monday. Everyone is quarantined. Thank God I still have my studio. I've had to go to all Zoom or FaceTime training with clients, but I will still be going to my studio and training myself. So there's that. But I just figured I would do a vlog for you guys of a day with me doing self-isolation and what that looks like and how I'm still like continuing on with clients and staying afloat. Um, like I said, I have um, asked several of my clients if they would be willing to do group Zoom sessions and they have. So starting tomorrow, I have set up two group Zoom sessions a day. Um, one at 1.30 and one at 5.30. We'll be hitting upper body on Tuesday, lower body on Wednesday, full body, body weight only on Thursday, vinyasa yoga on Friday, and cardio on Saturday. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, it's been difficult trying to, um, you know, just do this with all this madness going on. A lot of my clients have been receptive. Some have been kind of like, eh, I don't know how this FaceTime or Zoom training is going to work, but um, I'm going to make sure that I get everyone an awesome workout and that they still get results, even with having little to no equipment and at home. It is possible. You just have to push through. Anyway, I am going to continue on with my morning routine, which you guys have seen before, so I'm not going to video it, or I may just do a quick time lapse or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna try to get a full day of eating for you guys since I didn't get to do that last time and I'm so terrible at it. I always forget, but Mondays are easy for me to do because My meal one is probably my favorite meal and my <clears throat> largest meal. So I have coffee. It's about, I don't know, a large cup and a half with some collagen powder in it, some stevia and some unsweetened coconut milk, one grapefruit, a fourth of a cup of cream of rice, two whole eggs. That is um, 75 grams of kale. I usually have spinach, but I'm out of kale. I mean, I'm out of spinach, so that's kale. Four baby carrots, two whole eggs with salsa on top. And that is meal one. Good morning, guys. I am headed to the studio um, to get in my workout. I have canceled all one-on-one -on -one training sessions with clients and am going to FaceTime and Zoom sessions. Um, I'm super grateful for the fact that I have clients that are being extremely understanding during this time and are willing to even just try the FaceTime and the Zoom sessions. So I do very much appreciate that. Um, I also have um, several clients that are one-on-one -on -one clients that have been willing to do group zoom sessions so it won't be so hard for me to try to switch from one to another um so i promise i'm still gonna give everyone like an amazing workout um it's just temporary um and when we all kind of like get past this i promise you i'm going to make sure that i kind of repay you guys in some way for being so understanding and flexible um, with everything.
everything during this time. So I definitely appreciate um, everyone still continuing to support me and allow me to do my training sessions um, virtually. And that really means a lot to me. So I definitely appreciate it. Um, so I'm also super grateful that I still have the studio that I can go to because I still have suits to work on. Um, I still have training myself to get in. Um, and, you know, luckily I have it and I'll just be there using it. So, you know, I don't expect to be closed down or anything like that because it's, you know, there's limited access and I don't have people just coming in and out all day long. Like I used to so um, I think I'll be okay but if it comes down to it I'm going to just load as much stuff as I can in the back of my car and I'll work out in my apartment parking lot so I really feel like everything's if we can just get over these next like two weeks everything's gonna be fine or not be fine but I think everyone will be okay um, I've had several clients lose their jobs and have to file for unemployment. Um, so, towards one another, um, because so many people have lost their livelihood now. Small businesses have had to shut down. Um, large corporations have had to send people to work from home servers have been laid off um, you know it, it just sucks and as I drive past a car lot now you know think about people who work in car lots people think about people who you know there's several car washing places around here and people aren't spending extra money on unnecessary stuff unless they have to so I think business sales for all companies involved are probably going down except for like Walmart and grocery chains. You know, kind of my thoughts for today. I'm headed to the studio right now. I'm going to work on some suits for about 30 to 60 minutes um, before I train and then I'm gonna train and I may work a little bit more on some suits. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you all have a great Monday and are doing whatever you can to stay positive and to make the best out of a bad situation. I will be posting um, another body weight only workout today. This one's going to be way more advanced. Everything I've been posting has been very basic because I know not everyone is at the same level. So I try to show you different basic movements but different variations. So I will be posting another body weight only workout today that you can do in a very small space. I have worked on suits for a little bit and now I'm going to just try to do a little bit of training. Ooh, this hair. Um, I'm going to hit some goodness. <laughs> um, I'm going to hit some back and uh, shoulders today and then I've got 30 minutes of cardio to do. So that's what I'm going to be working on. 
Um, Jamie has sent me kind of a four day split. She told me I could do six days, but what I plan on doing is for my two group sessions on Friday and Saturday, I have vinyasa yoga planned and on Friday and um, a cardio plyometric circuit on Saturday. So I'm just gonna kind of um, do my four days of weight training and do my vinyasa yoga and cardio and then plyometrics on Saturday. Do that for the time being just because um, it's just gonna be easier for my schedule with everything else that I have going on and all the kind of stuff that, you know, is happening around us. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I am going to get started. I will video that for you guys. Um, I know some of you out there may have some of these things. I think all you really need is a barbell, some plates, and um, bands. Now, if you don't have barbell and plates, you can always use dumbbells. Any exercise can be modified for dumbbells. So anyway, I will video that for you now. All right guys, so I'm coming to you today with another at-home body weight only workout. So it's gonna be 20 minutes long. So all you're gonna need is a stopwatch so you can set the timer on your phone, um, the timer on your oven. You can set the timer on your watch to set to 20 minutes. We're gonna do six exercises and each exercise is gonna be for 10 reps, okay? So it's gonna be a full body workout. You're gonna get your heart rate up, you're gonna get your blood flowing, and you're gonna feel so much better than just sitting on the couch all day long. So I'm gonna combine some of the exercises that I showed you guys last week. So the first exercise we are going to start with is a pop squat. So for those of you who don't know or didn't see last week or that don't remember, pop squat looks like this. A modified version is step out and squat down and step in or intermediate you are gonna step out next is gonna be that dive bomber that I showed you so I'll show you the uh, beginner intermediate and advanced version first your beginner version you're just going to hold in a plank position okay intermediate I'm gonna show you a rock and advanced you're gonna go up in a down dog position, scoop the floor, and push right back up, okay? Next exercise is gonna be for those legs. We're gonna do fast squats, so down and up. That's all you gotta do, okay? Remember hips go back, okay? Not knees forward, so down and up. Next exercise we're gonna to go to is going to be a plank twist. I don't know if I showed you guys this one, but here's what it looks like. 
high plank position. You're going to go to high plank position, as I was saying. So, high plank position and twist and twist. Okay. We're going to move back to a leg exercise. That's going to be your reverse lunge. Okay. From the side, looks like this. Last exercise, we all did it in gym class. It's just gonna be a simple jumping jack. If that's too hard, you can always step out. Or you can take the arm movements out and just jump in and out. All right, so again, set a timer, 20 minutes. Do 10 reps of each exercise and just get in as many rounds as possible. I guarantee you, you'll get your heart rate. A great thing to do is to keep a log of your exercises. So say it's Monday, this is the first exercise you're doing. You only, you do your 20 minutes and you only get in eight rounds. So say next week you do this again on Monday, your goal would be to try to get either eight and a half rounds or nine rounds. So each week, try to push yourself a little harder and a little more and that's what body weight training is all about. It's seeing where your beginning phase is and then advancing a little every week from there forward. And really, that's all any healthy lifestyle is or anyone who is just starting out on a fitness journey. You just kind of assess where you're at and where your foundation is and then you just build upon that. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys out, um, especially those of you who are in quarantine or doing self-isolation. Um, let me know how you like it and if you have any hey guys, so I didn't get much videoing done today again. I started my full day of eating stuff and Didn't finish it Because I am Terrible at it Even if I just post pictures, I'm gonna try to do that but Kitty and I went we did our workout um, it is, you've seen it by now. I'm only posting short clips just because that's all I can do. We came back. I got my hair trimmed. Um, had a friend come over and just trim it real quick and leave because she's out of work, um, because of all of the COVID-19. And I just finished watching a movie I'd seen before. I watched Fast and the Furious, um, Hobbs and Shaw. So, anyway, guys, pretty much it. Um, there's really not much content on here today. I really wanted to sit down and, like, do another topic and discussion, and I just didn't. <laughs> I worked on some suits back at the studio. I'll put in some time lapse of that. It's also on my Instagram story. Um, I got my workout in. Um, I just didn't feel like doing anything else so anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video it's just some random bs stuff i'm sorry um tomorrow if i have some time i'm gonna try to get some more content for you guys since i will be at the studio and i've got like a lot more time i really miss having my studio and and training out of it but my clients are getting you know, such better workouts with the additional equipment from the gym. I, oh, uh, I love training out of my own space. I'll be honest with you. I love training clients out of my own space. Um, I really miss it because if I had a cancellation or if I had a break, I could always sit down and work on a suit or I could always do something else. And it just made things so much easier. Whereas now, <clears throat> I have to carve time out of my weekend to go work on suits. So, anyway, but everything's working out how, how it's supposed to work out. And I truly believe that. And I am just going to try to stay sane during all of this, you know, quarantine, self-isolation stuff. And just try to do the best that I can do. And... I think that's all anyone can do in this situation. So, anyway guys, I hope you've had a great Monday. I'll check back in with you later.